I am Manas and this lesson is all about GDP growth rate. In this lesson, I will teach you how can we calculate a GDP growth rate. So before we start, just remember for any questions, let me know in the comment section below and I will talk to you there. So first of all, what is GDP growth rate? GDP growth rate measures how fast the economy is growing. It does this by comparing one quarter of the country's gross domestic product to the previous quarter. So GDP growth rate is driven by the four components of GDP. Number one, C. Number two, I. Number three, Z and number 4 x minus m so c denotes personal consumption this includes the critical sector of retail sales number 2 i denotes business investment including construction and inventory levels z denotes government spending its largest categories are social security benefit, medicare benefit, and defense spending. Number four, X minus M denotes net trade, export add to GDP, Y imports subtract from GDP. So GDP is equal C plus I plus z plus x minus m please note there are three methods for measuring gdp growth rate number one expenditure approach number two income approach and number three value added approach now you can say this is our expenditure approach now suppose in a particular year particular year c is equal 10000 i is equal 3500 z is equal 3600 x means export e is equal 2500 m means import e is equal 3000 so gdp is equal c plus i plus z plus x minus m and putting these values 10,000 plus 3,500 plus 3,600 plus bracket start 2,500 minus 3,000 bracket close is equal 17,100 minus 500 is equal 16,600 so this is our GDP value. Now we are going to discuss about GDP growth rate in quarterly. Suppose we have four quarters Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. Q1 three months, Q2 plus three months, Q3 plus three months and Q4 plus 3 months total 12 months and the values are q1 is equal 100 q2 is equal 150 q3 is equal 175 and q4 is equal 250 now we have to know about gdp growth rate in quarter 4 as compared to the quarter q3 so it's very simple just rate is equal final minus initial divided by initial so final means we have to know about the gdp growth rate in quarter four and initial means as compared to the quarter of q3 so q4 minus q3 divided by q3 means initial values and putting these values q4 
Q4 250 so 250 minus Q3 175 so 175 divided by initial means 175 is equal 75 divided by 175 is equal 0 0.42857 and multiply it by 100% 100% we got 42.86% so you can say that in quarter 4 GDP growth rate is increased by 42.86% as compared to the quarter of Q3. Okay. Now, how to calculate annualized GDP growth rate? So, before knowing about how to calculate annualized GDP growth rate, you should know about what is current year and what is base year. So, current year means the year in which a accounting period falls. Suppose we are talking about 2015-16. So, this is our current year. And the previous year of this year is called the base year. So, base year means a base year is the year in which in so base year is the year used for comparison in the measures of a business activity or economic index. So in our example, 2014-15 is base year and 2015-16 is current year. And the values of GDPs are in 2014-15-2000 and in 2015-16-2150. So now we have to know about GDP growth rate in 2015-16 as compared to the year of 2014-15. So it's very simple. Final minus initial divided by initial. So final means we have to know about the GDP growth rate in 2015-16. So GDP value is 2150. So 2150. And initial means as compared to the year of 2014-15. So GDP value is 2000. So 2000 and divided divided by initial so 2000 is equal 150 divided by 2000 is equal 0 0.075 and multiply it by 100% we got 7.5% so you can say in 2015-16 GDP growth rate is increased by 7.5% as compared to the year of 2014-15. Okay? So, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Remember to subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next video.